Well, most parents are, are complaining that the music we listen to is, is very bad and it's much worse than compared to the music they used to listen to when they were young. So um, I think Carlos wants to kind of join that debate and talk about the eradication of music. Can you hear me at the back? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, I'm going to start by asking a different question, and so if you could put your hands up if you have an answer. Uh, what makes good music? Anything. Anyone. There are some musicians out there. Instruments. It's, instruments is a good start. Anyone else? Oh, well. Lyrics. Lyrics. Okay. Anything else? Rhythm. Anything a bit more tense? Rhythm. Uh, technicalities from Luca. <laughs> Musicians. That's a useful start. Okay, cool. Yes, you could, you could have said so many different things. Uh, from interesting modulations, from uh, catchy motifs, uh, to anything catchy that kind of sticks in your head. Um, but. We see a lot today, and um, I s stopped listening to the UK charts once I left Hilton because that was the only thing on the TV at the time there. Uh, but that was just, you know, when in Rome, so you, you kind of have to listen to it. Um, but I'm a huge not fan of the charts, especially the UK charts or the American charts, because in my opinion, the music on there is absolute you know, shit. You know, okay. <laughs> Um, and so what I want to talk to you is what I think um, constitutes good music and if there are any aspiring musicians out there, what I would recommend or what I think you should be looking for uh, in terms of your composition, in terms of what you look for in music, in terms of, or in terms of what you create in terms of your music. And that will come under three, three words which I'll repeat later on, which is simple, genuine, quality. So um, I'll start off with a with a culprit of uh, the charts. Um, yeah, I don't even need to say who this is. You guys all know who it is. Uh, it's Nicki Minaj for those at the back. Um, uh, so this. Psych. Oh, psych. And the music somewhere. Working? Psych. It is light, it's really loud. I'll just keep saying it. Yeah, so that's what we kids are listening to at the moment from the mic. Um, okay, there are a few issues that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up with this. Uh, one is it's a sensory overload. Everything you've got a loud beat pounding your ears. You've got large um, gestures in your face uh, consistently, and I fear that this is taking the youth's musical ear away from music completely and focusing on purely what they see on the screen. And um, <laughs> obviously, this is due to the platforms that we have now that are available to us. We have so many uh, gadgets, technology. It's so easy to create music now. And there's so much technology and so much variety and so much choice that people have. And we now live in a society where such gestures are perfectly comfortable to watch next to your best friend and teacher uh, on the screen. Um, and so my issue is that this music, in my opinion, isn't music brought from a genuine feeling and emotion and want to express something through the voice of music, but it's a byproduct of being famous. And so. I'd be very interested and impressed if that music right there could give the same effect if it was just Nicki Minaj sitting by the piano in a nice you know, jazz club just playing and everybody really feeling the music and enjoying the vibes that she was giving off. Um, so I will now move on to something that I think and feel is good music. Um, does anyone here know Dean Martin? 
Raise your hands if you know Dean Martin, have heard of him, know of him. Write me there, be proud. Dean Martin fans out there. Um, okay, uh, a lot of you don't know him. Dean Martin um, uh, was a famous uh, singer, actor, comedian in the 60s, 70s, 80s. He had his own show. He was on the original Ocean's Eleven, the one which didn't have Clooney in it. Um, he was in the rap pack. He was in the rap pack with Frank Sinatra. Some of you may know Frank Sinatra, also big at that time. And so I'll just give you a little clip of uh, the kind of music that he was performing. Everybody finds somebody someplace. There's no telling where love may appear. Now, there's obviously a clear difference between the Nicki Minaj video and the Dean Martin video. And, of course, there's, like I mentioned, the difference in choice and technology that's available, <coughs> that was available to Dean Martin, that is now available to Nicki Minaj and others of um, you know, her caliber. Um, <laughs> but what I see here is that what is being performed and what we see is just Dean Martin using his voice with a, with a jazz band behind him and just performing his talent that is his natural voice and his gift and that, that's where the simple genuine quality comes in. Nicki Minaj's music or any trendy music or any chart music that is around is largely simple. I will admit I am a fan of like dubstep and trap and stuff and that stuff is pretty simple in terms of his composition but here is more than simple, it's, it's genuine and there is, there is quality within that in how he's just there performing <coughs> with the band, using his voice and not trying to throw it in your face or gesticulate or anything. <laughs> um, and so if there's, if there's anything you take from this, if you want to make music or if you just like listen to music or if you have friends who play music, Try and think about those three words, the simple, genuine quality. If you can just sit down, put away you know, the awesome synth with all the different sounds, or put away the DJ decks and just you know, sit, sit, sit by a piano, or just strum a guitar and try and express something that you want to express through the voice of music, then that's where, that's where the music will really shine. And it won't just be a bright product of being famous, but being famous will be the byproduct of your music. Thank you. Woo!